my daughter, we've been an MUSD family since she started kindergarten at Santa Rosa. Um, she went all through Santa Rosa. She went to Desert Wind Middle School and she's now at Maricopa High School. Um, I have to say we've been very impressed with the district, the administrators, the educators, and all the staff, quite frankly. Um, I, I think the district has definitely experienced growing pains, but I think what overcomes those growing pains is the people. Um, the, the teachers specifically have been phenomenal. Um, they're very dedicated to our children. They do the best they can with the little resources that they have. They do their best not to let that get in the way, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at the class sizes our children are dealing with, that does affect the quality of their education. Technology comes natural to our children. They've known it their whole lives. They need to know how to use it to be prepared for college and for the workforce, and quite frankly, everyday life, we all use technology. So I've, I've seen the difference between a lack of technology and then going into an environment where you have that technology support and how it increases the opportunities in the classroom and quite the engagement, quite frankly, that was the biggest thing for us that we noticed with our daughter, that she was much more interested in what she was learning. She wanted to learn. She went above and beyond because she wanted to learn. Whether or not there's a moral obligation, I think we should want to provide the opportunities for our children. Um, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to education. I think MUSD has done a great job of identifying that and identifying alternative programming. Um, I know a part of this budget override is providing teachers for an alternative program at the high school for children who don't learn best in the traditional model. So whether or not it's a moral obligation, it's the right thing to do. Why would we not want to provide the resources every child needs to succeed? As a community, that should be our goal. Join me at the polls on November 8th and check yes for Maricopa's children.